AI coding agents offer a glimpse into the future of machine learning workflows. They are still largely experimental, meaning they have limitations, but they already have the capability to help you automate tasks and speed up production times. In this video, you'll learn how to build your own AI coding agents. We'll use the powerful Small Agents library from Hugging Face, and I'll show you how to integrate both open source models using Olama as well as Google's Gemini AI family of models. First, create a new Python environment using Python version 3.12. Then, use pip to install these essential packages, small agents, scikit-learn, stats models, pandas, and numpy. Next, we need to prepare connections to our large language models. If you want to use Google's Gemini models, you'll need to create a Google AI Studio account and generate an API key. Alternatively, if you want to use locally run models, you can configure a connection to your Olama server. In the video description below, I've linked to other videos that show how to do setup for both the Google Gemini API and Olama. I would suggest using Google Gemini over Olama at the moment for better performance, and the API costs for Gemini 1.5 Flash or Gemini 2.0 Flash Experimental are super cheap. In fact, to prepare this tutorial, which included multiple test runs, the total cost was just a few pennies. Let's create a coding agent. We'll set our coding agent to work on a specific challenge, predicting outcomes using the best combination of features in a linear regression. We'll let our AI agent independently explore, assess, and find top predictors without us dictating a specific approach. Okay, we can now get into the code. We start by importing small agents and OS. From small agents, we'll specifically import a few specialized functions, which I'll explain throughout the code walkthrough. Next, we need to set our Gemini API key. If you are using an Olama model, you can comment out this line of code. For this example, I'm using Google's Gemini 1.5 Flash model, but you could easily also use the 2.0 Flash model. We set this using the light LLM model functions model ID argument. If using a local model through Olama, swap out this line for a model ID that starts with Olama, then forward slash, with the model name afterwards. We'll then initialize a code agent called Feature Selection Agent. This specific agent utilizes the DuckDuckGo search tool to look online to find relevant code or reference information if necessary. We authorize it to use several data science packages to perform data analysis and modeling. We also use the model that we placed in an object previously to power the agent's code generation capabilities. With our agent now set up, we define the prompt. I have given several clarifying mission critical instructions to the agent, such as which specific data set to load, how to do the train test split, and what the overarching modeling goal and performance evaluation metrics are. Within the bounds of these instructions, I have not told the agent exactly how to reach the objective. Everything else that I have not specified is up to the agent to decide. Finally, to actually run our task, we simply call the run method on our feature selection agent and pass in our task description. The agent will now take over, autonomously working towards the goal in the prompt description, and then return its results, which we will see in the output cell. As we will see shortly, we didn't need to write any code ourselves, the agent did everything for us. The execution time of the agent prompt will vary based on the complexity of the instructions, as well as the choice of the model. And the results can greatly vary too, even for different runs of the same model. I highly suggest using proprietary models from Google Gemini, OpenAI, or Anthropic, which give substantially better results. I'd also suggest starting off small when writing prompts and working your way up to larger, more complex instructions. The small agents library can handle multi-agent architectures through the managed agent function, the documentation of which I've linked to in the video description below. If you found this video useful, make sure to like, comment, and subscribe to the Deep Charts channel to learn how to put the latest AI and machine learning tools into practice.